Now in order to solve the equation 5 cos x minus 3 sine x equals 4 for x greater than or equal to 0 but less than 2 pi radians what we've got to do is use the first part of the question. What we found out was that 5 cos x minus 3 sine x could be written as the square root of 34 times the cosine of x plus 0.54 radians. Okay, So that's the left hand side and it equals 4. Okay, Next we need to divide both sides by root 34 and that gives us the cosine of x plus 0.54 equals 4 divided by square root of 34. Now I need to take the inverse cos of both sides so we then end up with x plus 0.54 equals the inverse cosine of 4 over the square root of 34. Now at this point you need to work out the inverse cos of 4 root 34, get an answer and then use the quadrant diagram. You can use a graphical method but the quadrant diagram I find is a lot quicker and easier. And if you're unfamiliar with the quadrant diagram just go on my website look under quadrant diagrams for trigonometry and there's lots of tutorials on it. But assuming that you generally understand that what we do is we have cosine is a positive value in this example 4 over root 34 is positive so we ask ourselves where is cosine positive and that is in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant so you draw two lines equally inclined to the horizontal marking those two angles as being the same what we require is from 0 to 2 pi so that's turning in an anti-clockwise sense so we start from here turn to the first blue line which is this turn here and that is a possible x plus 0.54 so just mark that in there as x plus 0.54 there's another solution between 0 and 2 pi that is going to be turning from here starting from here turning all the way around till we get to the next blue line here we are so this is another possible x plus 0.54. So what you need to do now is just inverse cosine this 4 over root 34 on your calculator. Make sure you're in radians mode. And what you should find you get is 0.8181, 81, sorry, 48 and so on radians. That means that this angle, this red angle here, is 0.8148 and that's the same size as this blue one here so that blue one 0.8148 that means that this little blue one in here is also going to be 0.8148 and so on radians and that can help us get the green angle okay that's going to be worked out as being 2 pi radians, a full turn, minus 0.8148. So if you type into your calculator 2 pi minus 0.8148, your last answer, you should end up with 5.4683 and so on. Okay. Now then, all you need to do now is just take away the 0.54 from each of these answers and that will leave you with the possible values for x in this range 0 to 2 pi take pi, po, sorry take 0.54 away from 0.8148 and you should find you get 0.2748 and so on i seem to be getting very tongue tied here and then take 0.54 away from this value and you get 4.9283 and so on and we need to round these up let's say then to two decimal places and we end up with x equaling let's just put x in there 0.27 radians and the other one 4.93 radians and both of those are to two decimal places so both to 2 dp. Okay well I hope you've been able to follow that and that brings us now nicely to the end of this question.